Hello. I'm trying to set everything up. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I just spilled this morning's coffee all over my desk, so give me a second to kind of get situated. Oh, come on, stay. Hopefully that stays for like two seconds. Let me just get all this stuff out of the way. Hey, Kayla. Hey, Rebecca. Ava. I'm so happy to be here. I've been waiting for this all week, to be honest. It's just been one of those crazy days. Hi, Kelsey. That was bad. Oh, this zoomed. Hey, Ashnor. Yay. I'm glad you're excited. Sarah. Oh, this doesn't want to stay. Kimberly. Hello, hello. I know, I've missed it too. I really have. And I'm so in need of a mani tonight. So yeah, I just spilled this morning's coffee like all over my desk here. So I'm trying to clean it up. I'm running a little late today because I've had such an exciting day, which I'll tell you all about it. Um, I go live on my phone. For whoever just asked. Yay, Rebecca, I'm so glad. So we're working with this stuff tonight, the new olive in June. And then I have to pick a color. I'm gonna move back so I can see you guys. Well, or so you can see me, I guess. All right, we got a towel. Hey, Annika. Kelsey, it's such a mess today. It's like in this little braid that doesn't want to stay. Okay. Am I in it? Can you see me? Is this good? Give me a little thumbs up if it's clear. Hey, Cassie. I'm glad you made it. Nice. I didn't have dinner. I had a really delicious salad for like a late lunch today, so I'm not really hungry yet. Thanks, Rebecca. Okay, I want to make sure I'm like in the frame, but it cuts me off a little bit. Perfect. I'm just going to leave it like this. Cool. I'm going to remove... So this manicure that I had last week, I loved it so much. This like neon yellow green. I'm tempted to do it again today, but I think I'm going to switch it up. But it was really fun. It's starting to chip though, so it's ready to go. I have no idea what color I want to do today. So I was just with my mom and she's like, what color are you going to do? It's like, I have absolutely no idea. I guess I'll decide on the live. So you guys can help me choose. Let me know what colors you're doing. We're kind of in that weird, like beginning of spring time. So it's like a little early for our true spring colors, but I don't know, like neon green yellow is certainly not winter or spring. So I don't think that there's any rules. <laughs> Let me know what colors you guys are doing because it'll help me decide for sure. Light blue, I like that. The um, olive and June light blue, I loved. My mom tunes into the lives sometimes. She might catch it tonight. Something Eastery, rust, pink. Can't go wrong with pink. She asked what color and I was like, probably a mauve because when I don't know, I just always do mauve. Light blue, white or teal. I like those. Hi Gia. So we also were doing gel for the past few weeks and my last manicure, I decided to skip the gel and luckily my nails did not break. So we're gonna try to stick with regular manis this week. Ooh, that sounds pretty. Hey, girls, guys, anyone can paint their nails. Or trim them up. Remove the polish. Thank 
you very much. We are like in the throes of wedding planning right now. Like I keep saying knee deep, but we are truly knee deep in it, but it's exciting. Everything was a little delayed because of COVID and we didn't know what we would be able to do and how many people we would be able to invite. And we just found that information out like a couple weeks ago. So we've hit the ground running. Have you watched Superstore? No, what's that? What channel is it on and what is it about? I could use a good new show. I did finish Murder on Middle Beach. I don't know if I was talking about that in my last live or if I was talking about that in a recent video, but I finished it last week. It was so good. Netflix. Gel colors my husband gave me. Man, I'm afraid to use it because I read about you to be like, if you're scared about um, the UV light, they do make gloves that help you. I used to like make my own gloves, like take a pair of gloves, cut the fingers off. And then when you put them in your light, it's a little less exposure. So maybe look into that. You can make your own pair or they definitely sell some. It's not really gonna protect against the nails, but. Oh my God, Cassie, you liked it. I've got to talk about this for a second because I watched it, it just ended and I had so many thoughts because it ended on like a cliffhanger. There was really no resolution. Someone recommended a podcast episode that really dives deep into it and I wanna listen to that. But if anyone else saw Murder on Middle Beach, it basically ended with no answer. And I'm deep down, I kind of think it's the dad or the ex-husband. If you saw it, let me know what you think because I don't know. It was a little sketchy. His whole story, he would not talk about it. He kind of had motive and he has a really sketchy past. So I don't know. I'm kind of going with the dad. Ugh, podcasting is like so on my want to do list, but I just, we don't have any time for it right now. It was too challenging, the software we were using, so we've got to revisit that. But I'm glad you liked it. It'll be fun when we revisit it. All right, I should have been thinking of colors because now I honestly have no idea. But the nails are clean, finally. Yay! Any other true crime? Um, what did I watch and really like? There's so many. There's so many out there. Let me think about it. Okay, color time. I almost want something that's a little dark. The pump bottle is um, just remover. Do the new Olive and June pink. The new Olive and Junes are so nice. I probably should do an Olive and June because I'm gonna try this stuff. Like, like the fuchsia maybe? Here, let me pick a couple. Wild Orchid. Hi, Casey. Um, honestly, this like fiery lava is kind of cool. I feel like I might like this. I don't want a green. I think lavender might be a little too light. I don't know. Maybe I'll swatch these. Chargers in the way. The pink. Kelsey wants the pink. All right, I'm gonna leave these up for a vote for... Okay, now Nicole wants lava. I'm gonna swatch them. We'll swatch them and then we will officially vote. I'm kind of feeling lava too, I don't know. It's like a dead tie between lava and pink. I'll show you, I'll show you. Sometimes on the nails it looks a little different and then you can easily decide. Ooh, I, I don't know. Ooh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. 
I'm kind of really loving both. Let's try this light one. You know when you're like running around and you have a crazy day, like my hands are kind of shaking. May get a sloppy mani tonight, but it's all good. Ooh, this is pretty too. Okay, here's our quick swatches. Any preference off the bat? Wild Orchid, Lava, or what's this one called? Cockatoo. Wild Orchid, Lava, or Cockatoo? Pink, Skittle Manny. I know, Skittle Mannies are fun. Okay, the Lava's coming in hot. I think I, I don't know, I really like the pink too. Okay, but like Lava's totally taking the cake. Lava, 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 lava. Kelsey with the pink. And Emma's got cockatoo. Lava. Wild art. Okay. Pink or wild I haven't done a pink Manny in a while, but you guys are voting lava. I think I'm going to go with it. I mean, this is really nice too. We're definitely getting rid of this. Wait, do you think I could do a Manny with these two? Hold on. I'm usually not one to combine colors, but I feel like these kind of look good together. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. We're going to do both. We're going to do both. Should I do every other? I'm, I'm glad you're loving this as much as me. Just one accent nail or should I alternate? Should I do like, let's try it. I'm gonna use both because this is kind of cool. Every other? Yeah, I think every other too. Because they're very similar, so from afar it doesn't like look super crazy. Oh my god, I'm kind of obsessed with this. That's what we're gonna do. One hand each color. I've never done that. I've never done a hand two different colors. I think I might do the every other. I feel like that's a little out of my comfort zone, but it's still kind of fun. And I'm really loving the combination. Oh, Karen, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's what we're doing. It's official. It's official. We're going to do every other. So orange, pink, orange, pink, orange. And then maybe this hand I'll do pink, orange, pink, orange. Okay. Done. This is so fun. You guys are getting me out of my comfort zone. I'm such a like boring manicure repeater. Oh no, Helena or Helena, I don't know if I said that right. Breaking is the worst. I broke one last week. Like, so I had gel on cause I wanted them to grow and I wanted them to just stay strong. And uh, one of them broke when I was getting out of the car, I was carrying a box. I was so ticked, but I was able to kind of salvage them. So they're a decent length. Hello, it's me. Is that my mom? <laughs> um, so they're a decent length, length right now, but they're still a little shorter than I wanted, but it's all good. Hi, Angie. I don't know if that's my mom or if it's another Angie, but we're going to shout them out. Kelsey, that's the best news. Ah! The Biotin Ultimate Strength is seriously like the most miracle little product. They actually repost, they like found a clip of my video on YouTube and posted it on their Instagram this week. And then um, it was basically like a me talking about how much I loved it. And then they DM me and they're like, can we send you a package of some of our products? So I'm gonna try some of their other base coats and I'm really excited to see how it turns out. Um, I might leave you guys here for just one second. You could talk amongst yourselves. I'm gonna wash my hands cause they're like a little dirty under the nails and I just used all that acetone. So don't do anything too exciting while I'm gone. I'll be back in like literally 12 seconds.
Okay. What did I miss? What did I miss? Okay, we're good, we're good. I'm so excited. I'm like so excited about this manicure right now. I'm meeting my boyfriend's best friend tonight. I'm so nervous. Oh, that's so exciting. That's really fun when you start to meet the friends. All right, let's get these olive and June out. Okay. Cassie, you should totally twin Manny with me. I'm like really surprised by how much I love this combo. I am not usually that crazy. And that's really not that crazy, but um, I'm excited about this Manny so much. Okay, so they sent me, Olive and June sent their ridge filler and their nail strengthener. Now I don't really have ridges in my nails. Oh, gosh, Catherine, <laughs> what are you doing? I don't really have ridges to fill, so I think I'm gonna try to test out their strengthener. I'm very excited about this. They rarely let me down. Kayla, you've got to get some Olive and June polish. Even just like one or two colors. They're pretty affordable. I think they're $8 a bottle. Um, a lot of Targets have them in store now, but obviously you can get them online. The top coat is a must, and then the colors. And they really don't need a base coat. So you can totally get away without it. Okay, hold up. This is not a polish. Oh, okay, hold on. It says, as part of your weekly mani routine, apply to bare nails in place of nail primer and follow with polish. As an intensive treatment, apply to bare nails until desired strength is achieved. So should I do the strengthener and then the ridge filler or just no? I kind of want to test these. Maybe I'll do both. I'm going to do both. You won't regret it, Kayla. Honestly, I I hate to admit that I wanted to, I didn't want to not love the products, but I'm always so skeptical because I feel like things get super hyped and I have yet to have an Olive and June manicure that disappoints me. I did have an Olive and June Petty that disappointed me, but Manny, no, it's amazing. Their stuff is worth every penny. Okay, so the nail strengthener, it's like a primer. It's not a polish. So I wouldn't, I thought it would be like a stronger, I don't know, it would provide some extra strength, like an extra layer. Olive and June or Morgan Taylor, they're both really good in their own right. Um, I think I would have to say Olive, well, Morgan Taylor has a really nice top coat too, but I think I have to say Olive and June. I kind of like everything about their brand just a little bit more. This is so interesting to me. It looks like oily on the nails. The strengthener. I don't think it is though. I don't know, we're gonna try the ridge filler with it. Because with bare nails that I don't want to break, the more coats, the better. This is interesting, I'm very intrigued. I kind of like these solid pink bottles though. Yeah, Sarah, check out the ridge filler for sure. Priscilla, you nailed it. That is the very best top coat. In my opinion, like if you're looking for an incredible top coat, that's just gonna be A plus across the board, consistently fabulous, like shine, fast dry time, like thickness, consistency. It's the best. I and M out the door. It's so affordable too. The tea bag. The tea bag method totally works if you don't have silk wraps. All right, we are doing one coat of ridge filler, just a thin coat. Wow, I love this. It's so smooth. This goes on so smooth and shiny. I'm like, 
like, I'm not waiting for Olive and June to disappoint me, but they haven't done so yet. All right, I feel like I have so much I wanna talk about and I'm gonna forget about it. But I wanted to say a little bit about my exciting day because it was such an exciting day. It was a full like wedding planning day and I got to pick up my wedding dress today. So it's finally in my possession and that's very exciting. I didn't get to open it. They wouldn't let me open it until I bring it to the shop. So next week we're going in. I know it's so exciting. It's crazy. I cannot wait to see it. Thank you, thank you. I can't wait to see mine. Like I tried on the sample. It was part of a trunk show. So um, it was just like a one and done opportunity, but now I have my own. Has OPI disappointed you? Thank you, thank you. Um, I wouldn't say OPI has disappointed me, but no, I wouldn't. OPI to me is like, just across the board, a great brand. I will say I don't love their top and base coats. I really don't, none of them. The OPI Nail Envy is okay if you stick with it, but not my favorite. Their colors though and their polish names does not get better. Thanks guys, thanks for the congrats. I'm really so excited, I'm very giddy today. Today was a really good day. It's been a pretty good week. It's it's a lot. There's a lot on my plate with work stuff, wedding stuff, and just other life stuff, but it's all good stuff. So I'm just trying to be thankful and take it one thing at a time and enjoy it as much as I can in between. All right, I'm gonna show you posting any wedding vlogs. You know, I thought about vlogging this week because there was a lot of cool stuff going on and I might film a couple clips. Maybe I will just for my own like memories too. Cause this time like flies, but, um, I haven't filmed any, any just yet, but I have my first like dress fitting appointment next week. Um, we're doing our tasting with the caterer next week. Um, what else? My parents and I meet with Dan and I every Wednesday, we started doing that wedding Wednesdays. Um, because we have so much to do. So everybody has jobs. My mom is like a little, little president. She makes an itinerary and agenda and we like literally take the minutes. It's pretty official. Um, but it's been fun, but that's all like vloggable stuff. I think at least some of it. So here is the Ridge filler. It's like a matte, matte finish. Definitely super smooth top. Yeah, Wedding Wednesdays are awesome. All right, they're fun. The ridge fillers I've used in the past, when you put color on top of them, sometimes it like pulls. I don't know how to explain it, so I'm really curious to see how the polish wears on top. Now, before I forget, we are doing an Every Other Manny, and I need a top coat. I need an Olive and June top coat before I forget. I think there's one right here, perfect. Okay, so I said I was gonna do, I guess it doesn't really matter. I think I'll start with orange, pink, orange, pink, orange, pink, orange, pink, orange, pink. So we'll do, start with lava on the pink. I'm really excited about this. It feels so cool and trendy. Way more exciting than my normal. My parents only let me use the OPI and I don't know how to get it to dry faster. It seems to dry really slow. Do thinner coats. Try thinner coats of polish and get a different top coat. I would honestly recommend the INM out the door. You can get it at most drug stores. I know they sell it at Walmart and it's definitely online. And you can use it with any, any polish. They do sell dry drops. I don't think I have any personal experience with dry drops, to be honest. I think I have used them before, but not in a really long time. 
Wow, this is gorgeous. This is so gorgeous. I always skip a base coat unless it's a darker polish. So if you're using lighter colors, I would just skip the base coat. But if you want to strengthen your nails, the INM, or I'm sorry, not the INM, the Nail Aid Biotin Ultimate Strength is a godsend. It's so good. I haven't tried the Olive and June Dry Drops, but I am curious about them. I'm using Olive and June today as the brand. Cassie has good feedback on the dry drops. Wow, this lava. The only time I used this was when I was swatching the collection. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Their polishes are just so like thick and luxe. Look at how crooked my middle finger is. <laughs> I always take many pictures with this hand. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow, this is so nice. Okay, we're gonna finish the orange before moving on to the pink. Wild Orchid would be a nice summer to fall transition for sure. This whole collection, I always say they pick like the most unique colors that I wouldn't normally be interested in, like, or not interested in, but that I wouldn't normally put together. And somehow they're just very cohesive and complimentary. They do a really good job curating their collections. Like they, they know what they're doing. Oh my God, I love this. The polish is just so opaque and rich and creamy and thick and I am super happy. Okay, let's add the wild orchid. Is anyone else doing an alternating mani tonight? Or did I just talk myself into it and nobody else? <clears throat> I'm kind of obsessed with this. The wild orchid is a little bit more sheer. Yeah, I pulled just a tiny, I probably didn't have enough on my brush to be honest. Dang it. That's okay. Oh, thank you, my browser. My autumn jeans, bold and unshaken. You guys can totally copy me. Yay, I wanna see these alternating manis. It's kind of fun to like, I don't know, have a theme each live, like, dang it. It'd be cool if like we came up with what we wanted to do and then we all did it in our own way. Wow, okay, I've totally botched this nail. I got it all on the side. I like to show you guys when I mess up because everyone thinks I never mess up and that is just not the case. I think I'm gonna leave that for a cleanup brush to be honest. Oh my God, do you know what this manicure is? It just hit me. What is this manicure? This manicure <laughs> belongs to a brand. Oh my God, I'm kind of embarrassed now, but I'm totally gonna tag them when I post it. If you're from New England, you probably definitely know what this is. Please someone identify it for me. These are the colors of a very prominent brand. Oh my God, I am like a walking advertisement for them. These are like the exact colors. Oh, Angie got it. I'm kind of embarrassed. This is a Dunkin' Donuts manicure. This is a Dunkin' Manny. Wow. Maybe they'll love it. <laughs> wow. 
Oh, that's so funny. This is Duncan. This is the Dunkin' Donuts manicure. Hey, you know, Duncan's great. I love Duncan. I mean, I don't really want to rub them on my nails. Wow, how did I just put that together? Oh, hi, Angelina. Thanks for subscribing. Guys, how did I not put this together? I'm like, this is so unique. It's so fun. What a great combo. <laughs> it's Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, maybe. I actually did a campaign with Duncan a couple times a few years ago. I love working with them because I genuinely love Duncan. But wow, that is... That is kind of embarrassing. I think I'm gonna go to Dunkin' tomorrow. Exactly, that's why it looks good together because someone already put it together. Someone did all the market research, all the branding and they were like, these two colors match perfectly. And here I am thinking I was like creative and onto something new. No, this is a Dunkin' Donuts manicure. Oh my God. I'm going to Dunkin' tomorrow. I'm getting a donut or a coffee and I'm gonna post a Manny picture with it. Because now that I've identified a Duncan Manny, oh my God, what a loser. I'll ask, I'll ask. I'll go in and be like, hey guys, I just love Dunkin' Donuts so much. Can you hook me up with an iced coffee? I know the Red Sox didn't win. I don't know if they do. When the team wins, they give out free coffees. Wow, oh my God, how did that just click? I cannot even believe it. Oh well, all good. Okay, this one flooded the bed a little bit. Dunkin' Donuts Manny, because I'm just such a super fan. <laughs> oh my God, I'm gonna re like, rename this live. I love Dunkin'. It is kind of embarrassing. How did I not know this? Guys, I love Dunkin' so much. I love Dunkin' Donuts. Let's get out of here, Starbucks. I'm gonna just pretend I never saw that. I'm gonna pretend I never put that together. All right, coat two. What a loser. What a loser. I am such a loser. Oh, Duncan for the win. I should have never said anything. I should have never said anything and saw if anyone noticed. Wait, you really do like Starbucks better? No, -uh, no way. I do have to give it to Duncan as my fave. Although someone posted a new Starbucks drink combo this week that actually looked really good. I kind of want to try it. It is cute. And like, if you didn't know, you wouldn't know. But now that you know. <sighs> Kayla. <laughs> but now that you know, you're like, oh my God, that's a Duncan Manny. What an idiot. Oh my God. Whatever. I'm going to rock it. I'm, I'm committed at this point. I am too invested. Too invested. We're just going to we're gonna rock it and then the second it chips we're gonna change it but it's all of a June so it'll probably be on here for like 12 days brown sugar oat milk espresso put sprinkles on it <laughs> oh maybe I'll get a toothpick oh my god should I put sprinkles on it no I'm gonna ruin it I'm gonna ruin it <laughs> Yeah, Tony, Dunkin' Coffee is definitely not, like, fancy coffee at all. But I guess I like trashy coffee. No, I like their iced coffees, actually. I definitely love their iced coffees. And that's about it. Their food is not good. Yeah, I saw that they're starting to, like, infiltrate California and the Salof and... I didn't realize it was like so regional. Seven for your olive and June. Yeah, I get at least seven days out of my olive and June mayonnaise. Their iced coffees are the best. 
They always have really good flavors too. When I was working, um, I used to get Dunkin' on my way to work all the time and I would get, ooh, iced coconut is good. I would get a, um, the butter pecan. That was my favorite, the butter pecan iced coffee or hot coffee. And then if I wanted something that wasn't coffee, their coconut hot chocolate. Oh, we had one radio vendor, is that what it was called? our radio rep that would come in all the time for our clients and he would always bring me a coconut hot chocolate because he'd bring everybody coffee. It's like my favorite, so, so good. But right now my go-to Dunkin' order always is, it's not exciting, a caramel swirl. Why do I feel like there's another word in it? Like a hot caramel swirl coffee with cream or an iced caramel swirl coffee with cream. That's it. Iced hazelnut with oat milk, yum. I just like their caramel swirl and then I feel like that's sweet enough for me. It's honestly too sweet sometimes. So I don't add any additional sugar or anything, but I really love that in the iced coffee and the hot. But usually when I get coffee out, I'll get a flavor. Hot vanilla spice, that sounds so good. In the fall, they do um, apple cider once in a while. Definitely went on one of those kicks for a quick bit. I still cannot get over this Dunkin' Donuts manicure. Oh my God. The funniest part is just how excited I got about it before I knew it was the Dunkin' Mini. Yeah, I feel like Starbucks is probably better known everywhere. It's definitely a little more a little more common. Yeah, um, tonight's live is brought to you by Dunkin' Donuts. America runs on Dunkin', and so does Amanda. That would be cool. That'd be cool. I would love for brands to sponsor the live. That'd be so fun. I'm putting it out into the universe. Thanks, Annika. You do make me feel better. <laughs> McDonald, you know what? Next week, or next month, guys, Manny, McDonald's Manny. Um, we're gonna do golden arches, yellow and red. Get your polishes ready. Love me some Mickey D's. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna make my way through all the fast food chains and see which one sticks. Honestly, the Dunkin' Manny is my favorite so far. I really do like it. Oh my God, it's so Dunkin'. Oh my God. <laughs> This is so obvious. <laughs> Do I wish I had a Duncan cup or something. I don't. Priscilla, see like no one knew. That makes me feel a lot better because I really like totally did this to myself. We were all so excited about it. We're like, yeah, both. I like the idea of theme months too. That is kind of cool. The only month that I know for sure that I'm gonna do, like what I'm gonna do is my wedding month. So I am planning on doing my Manny Live for my wedding. I'm probably gonna invite my maid of honor to join me so that she can help me correspond and make sure that I don't mess up my wedding manicure, but I'll probably do a gel and it'll probably be a light pink. But other than that, all the months are fair game. We can do whatever we want. Guys, Dunkin' Donuts, I love Dunkin' Donuts. If you didn't know, I love Dunkin' Donuts. I love Dunkin' so much. I want them on my nails. I might even do a petty. I think I might redo my petty to do a matching Dunkin'. This is so funny. Oh God. I actually posted an Instagram like four years ago with my Dunkin' cup and the caption was Amanda runs on Dunkin'. This is so many sprinkles on the toes. Whatever. It's cool. I love it. So great. I wouldn't want another Manny. I, I do love it. I really do though. <laughs> what is Dan going to think? I don't know. He probably won't even notice. I'll see if he, you know what? I'm going to see if he picks up on the Duncan though. I might put it on Instagram too and be like, does this remind you of anything? I'm curious what people think. Because if I didn't bring it to my own attention or your attention, I don't know if anyone would have said anything. I'll see it. Next time I hear Dan walk by, I'll call him in and ask him to like, 
give his feedback. A Burger King Manny and put the king on one now. <laughs> oh, that's good. Glittery or solid polishes? I usually prefer solid. Okay, wide brushes like Olive and June. I am a wide brush fanatic. Sally Hansen Miracle Gel are the best wide brushes. I love them. Um, Morgan Taylor has really good wide brushes as well. Olive and June, which you know. And then that's really it. Someone told me recently that Essie got new brushes, but I haven't seen it. I think this line from Sally Hansen. The Mega Strength, they might. Let me see. Mm, no, these are not wide. They're maybe they're good kind pure line. I think that's what I'm thinking of. Good kind pure. That line has um, wider brushes too. But Sally Hansen Miracle Gel is like my all time favorite. Before I met Olive in June, I'm just like an Olive in June um, like cult follower. I'm just gonna clean up this messy one real quick before I do the top coat because sometimes I think it's easier to do it before. Oh my God, this is so funny. If you guys didn't like the video yet, please go quickly give this a thumbs up if you're participating tonight or if you're just watching. It really helps me out. I always forget to ask, but I just saw the little, the little thumbs up up there. Yay, top coat time. I'm gonna pretend I didn't see Duncan. You know what, Duncan is a little more orange. This is a little red. This is like a lava red orange. Duncan is more of a true orange. So I don't think this stands. I don't think I can see like this. I mean, that's pretty close to the nail color. I feel like that's a little more Duncan. All right, let's do a top coat. This is so funny. Wide brushes are so much easier, Sarah. You are like spot on with that. Ooh, that's fun, Cassie. Ooh, maybe I'll do a video. You just inspired me. Maybe I will do a video like, hi, Amanda B. Um, rounding up my contenders for my wedding mani and then I'll let people vote. Like I'll do swatches and then show it because it is a big decision. I think I know already what I want to do. Like I have this color in my head. Um, and obviously I want my nails to be a little longer. I want them rounded because that's my favorite style. But who knows if I break one or something the week before my wedding, I'm just going to let it be, cut them down and I might pick another color. Yeah, that is a great video idea. Well, you guys, let's, let's boost Cassie up for her brilliant idea. Sometimes I sit here during the week trying to plan out video ideas and my brain is just fried. It's dead, I cannot think of anything. Shout out to Kushi, did I spell that or say that right? Um, I can't think of any good ideas and then randomly I'll come up with something and then forget about it and never do it, but that's brilliant and I don't wanna forget it. So I'm gonna write it on this tax form that I, haven't done anything with yet. Wedding, Manny, swatches. Yay, I pronounced it properly. All right, we're going in with the top coat. For those who are painting, who, or where are you? Like what step? Anyone at top coat yet or did you finish? I love their top coats. Yeah, Cassie. Cassie is the MVP of this Manny. Ooh, that's fun. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm getting a little crazy with it. But maybe like every Manny I can do like an MVP or someone who had a great idea or contributed a lot to the conversation and send them a little package because I could totally do that. That'd be fun. I love sending gifts like just because. Giveaways are fun, but 
I don't know, I love just sending things to people that I like. Like this week, some girl was asking me about primers. Um, Caroline, shout out to you if you're on here. And she was asking me about a specific primer and I had like every primer. Oh, hold on, we're going back to Tom Brady in one second. But I had all these primers from this new collection. So I sent her three of them just because, because, just because, because I wasn't gonna use them. And I don't know, like what am I gonna do with them? Nothing. So if you guys like need any makeup recommendations or are looking for a specific product, DM me and if I have it, I'll just send it to you because I like to share. <laughs> um, now that Amanda B brought it up, this was such a hot topic in our house at the Super Bowl. Tom Brady, is he a blonde or a brunette? Dan and I did not agree on this and the poll results were shocking. Like I put up a poll on my Instagram to see what people thought and not necessarily like, is he a blonde or brunette, but what does he belong to? Like what category? Thank you, Nicole. Tom Brady is definitely a blonde. He is in the blonde family. I will not let up on this. I will, this one I will die on. He does, he has all light features. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. He's, he's not like a true blonde, but he definitely trends lighter. He totally trends lighter. The man is not a dark featured man at all. You guys are making me feel so much better. Thank you, thank you. Where were you all at the Super Bowl? <laughs> Maybe you were, you were probably the people saving my poll because the rest of, the rest of the crew had no idea what they were talking about. Thank you, blonde family, he's in the blonde family. He's not like a, yes, dirty blonde. Thanks, Nicole. I know I was like very happy for the people who agreed because I don't know, I just don't see him being a brunette. Like. Aaron Rodgers is a brunette. Eric Decker is a brunette. Those guys are true, dark, featured men. Amanda, I know you were on my side. That was such a hot ticket convo. Like that was, it was intense around here. Oh, we had another discussion this weekend. I wanna see what you think about this. Not as controversial, but um, we went to dinner and I was driving and I went to go park and there was a big white van. And I was like, oh, I'm not parking next to that van. And Dan was like, why? You should always park next to a van. And I was like, you should never park next to a van. And I realized that like men and women probably have totally different perspectives on this. And I wanna know what you think. If you're parking, would you park next to a van? Now, Dan said yes, because the doors slide, so they're not gonna hit your car. And I'm a girl, and I'm like, you never park next to a van because they could kidnap you and just pull you into the van. So what do you think when you see a van? Would you park next to a van? Right, right. So I was like, this is such an interesting perspective because all men would be like, no, don't park next to a van, or they would say park next to a van because the doors slide and it's not gonna hit your car. And I was like, no way, that's 101. So if we ever have children and a daughter, I'm not gonna let you teach them how to try. <laughs> no. But it was just like kind of a interesting and kind of sad moment because I really do think, depending on your gender, you would answer that question differently. Right. Yes, yes. It was a big white van, like I'm sure it was obviously totally fine but um <laughs> yes always try to park near an entrance under a lamp post and never park next to a big van or something with sliding doors see you girls know you're smart you're all smart gotta look out for each other it is sad it was such a sad conversation because i was like ew i can't believe we're even talking about this but you didn't know that like you didn't think you never thought about that? You, I mean, why would he really think about that? I don't think boys are taught that. They never get those mass emails that you're supposed to send to 10 of your friends. Never parked next to anyone. 
there's definitely a lot of unspoken rules of the road and things that relate to safety. Wow, this is the best night ever. Tom Brady is a blonde and everyone agrees you shouldn't park next to a van. I just feel like I won the lottery. I do, what a great day. And I got a wedding dress and I had a great salad for lunch. <laughs> and I love Dunkin' Donuts so much. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> so bad. Duncan for the win. <laughs> minivan is dev just as, yeah, you can tell when a minivan is like a family car and it's safe, but like a van, this was a bigger white work van, but it had no branding. Like it had no logo. It was a little, it was a little suspect. I mean, it was a restaurant. It was busy. I don't think it was like a concerning spot, but Yeah, I'm totally gonna go to Dunkin' tomorrow and see what they can hook me up with because I'm a super fan. I am a super fan. Actually, tomorrow we're meeting with our DJ. So, what do you think about a red wedding dress? Personally, I wouldn't do one, but if, if that's your thing, I say go for it. I remember Gwen Stefani, when she first got married, she did a pink wedding dress. I thought that was kind of cool. People are driving recklessly. Wait, should I really go to Dunkin' and be like, can I get a free? I wonder if they would. I'm not usually that, uh, like, uh, ballsy, I guess. I don't know what the word is. Where I, like, ask for things. <laughs> but maybe I will because this is pretty good. All right. They're done! <laughs> All right, aside from the revelation that these look like DD nails. I love them. I actually really do. I kind of want to pick out an outfit for tomorrow that'll complement them. I don't know what that is. I don't really wear much like lava red and hot pink or fuchsia. Talk about my brand. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. It really is. I promise you it is. Oh, you guys are so sweet. I'm, uh, I'm, just very preoccupied with a lot of other things right now, but it's on the table. I don't know if my sister is still on this, but she was supposed to speak with our manufacturer tonight because we have samples being made up. And once those are done and approved, we're moving on. We're moving on to fulfillment and packaging and shipping and it's, it's go time. And I'm so excited. I really am. A little tip, like don't decide to start a new business when you're planning a wedding. It just like wasn't the best idea. Um, this all kind of began last June. So around my birthday last year, I was like, you know what? I have always wanted to start a product. I'm going to do it. And I started ordering different oils and mixing formulas and working with different manufacturers. It took me forever to pick the people I wanted to work with. Then I hired someone to help me with the logo and all that stuff. And it's just been a process. And then I got engaged in July and then like all of our priorities shifted and I still have like all my normal work to do. So it's honestly just me, my sister who has a full-time job. Shout out to Jenna, who's been helping me a ton too. And our nice manufacturer contact, Michael. Um, so it's really just like a small biz operation, but it's coming. It really is. It's coming hopefully by summer. I don't know if it's too crazy. I might just like wait until fall and the holidays when like my personal life slows down a little bit, but it is coming. I, this is all so new to me too. Like I was talking to my mom today. I wish I had someone kind of like holding my hand and guiding me through the process because I don't, obviously don't know exactly what I'm doing. I've never done anything like this before and I want it to be done right and I want it to be done well. I don't want to kind of half-ass it. So it's coming. It really is. I'm so excited. The wedding is in July. It's in July. So it's going to be a pretty crazy spring and summer. But you guys are going to love it. I am I love it. I put it on Dan all the time. He's like, this smells so good. I'm like, I know. It's great. So it'll be fun. I can't wait to share that with everyone and just like have something to kind of like represent this whole community that I love so much. So it is cool. I'm thrilled that my nails are done. Is everyone done with their manis? Anyone still working on it? my cuticle oil. The product is a cuticle oil. And then from there, I'm really hoping we can dabble with colors and polishes and 
that's the ultimate plan. But I wanted to start small with like one manageable thing that wasn't too overwhelming. Yes, yeah, snails up close. Here are my Dunkin' Donuts nails. I'm gonna call this video, I love Dunkin' Donuts. My fingers look a little uh, strange up close, but we alternated, so everything is every other. I like them, I really do. And I guess if they drive me crazy, I can just paint over. Chopped salad. I know. Every time I make salads, I'm like, I should do a video because everyone always asks. They're totally, they're easy. You just chop everything up. Yes. So the name of the polish is. So we started out with the Olive and June, the Olive and June Nail Strengthener. Then we did the Olive and June Ridge Filler. And then we used these two. This is Wild Orchid. It's a really pretty like pink fuchsia. And then this is Lava. Both are from their spring 2021 collection. And then I used their top coat. You know what, this is a really great opportunity to take a new screenshot for a thumbnail. So excuse my weirdness, but I'm gonna use this later because I never took a thumbnail tonight. Perfect. And I'll link everything below once this goes up. We gotta make our way through the whole spring collection, Susan. I've only used the baby pink and the baby blue. Baby pink, baby blue, I think that's it. There was maybe another pink. I don't know, but I'm loving this. I am loving my Duncan Manny. This is excellent, this was perfect. This made me so happy. And this was fun. Angelfish, that's it. I used that one not long ago. I don't know if I Instagrammed it. I am with you, Nicole. That is totally my, my favorite from this collection too. How do you not let them get thicker and dry? Mine always end up getting gloopy. You really have to make sure you have just the right amount of polish on the brush. It's tricky. It's tricky because if you use too much, it's messy. If you use too little, you end up like ruining it and pulling and it gets messy. Um, but you learn. And Olive and June like blends nice. I don't know how to explain it, but the polish just like fills the nail nicely. A light green mani. That's what I just had kind of like a, a neon. I loved it. Love the neon. Yeah, as much as I love their polishes, I, I'm not like exclusively committed to this brand. There's so many great polishes out there. They just keep sending them and making new collections that I can never make my way through all of them. So I feel like I just have all of in June manis on repeat, but totally fine. Not complaining at all. It's awesome. Plus they allowed me to express my love for Dunkin' Donuts. So thanks guys for that. I think I'm gonna call this one a night because it's been a crazy day. I've been like on the go since 8 a.m. Dan's playing war. <laughs> Can you hear that? I know, I, I missed the weekly lives, but they were so, not like too much work, but I didn't really need to paint my nails every week and then I don't know. It got a little stressful for me, but maybe we can, maybe I'll do a bonus. I might add a bonus in there, maybe for April. I definitely won't be doing this Manny for Easter. I think I might do something a little softer, but. Oh my God. That was fun. Cassie, thank you so much for your brilliant YouTube video idea. I really appreciate that. Can you hear him as, as loud as I think he is? Do you want me to see if he can tell? Let me see if he can even hear me. He's playing with all of his like war buddies. Hold on. Hey, who? Oh, he's coming. All right. He heard me. <clears throat> so I, I did my nails and I realized that they look like something that everybody noticed and we want to see if you notice. What? Okay. There we go. What do these look like to you? What do these remind you of? Anything? Sherbet ice cream? I'll take it. Sherbet ice cream. Say hello. 
Hi, everybody. But it's not sherbet ice cream. It is, like, think of a brand. Do they remind you of anything? Um... I'm, I'm glad it's give not... Give me a hint. How do I give a hint without, like, totally giving it give away? Give me a hint, people. Kelly's is high. Um, hey, Kelly. It's a chain. It's very popular in New England. Every time in this area. A beverage brand, maybe? Oh, my God, I love this. I'm so glad you're not getting it. There's one right down the street. Sonic. No. <laughs> I don't know. Really? Dunkin' Donuts. You got it. Is it Dunkin' Donuts? <laughs> I was mid-painting. I was mid-painting, and I was like, oh my god, this is... <laughs> you can... Huh? I was like, this is a Dunkin' Donuts manicure. I was so excited. You can run on it. Yeah, nice. And I just love Dunkin'. <laughs> Dunkin', yeah. We're gonna go to Dunkin' tomorrow on our way to talk to the DJ and see if they're gonna give you a free coffee. Yeah. All right. Be like, hey, I love you guys so much. Cool Manny. Good guess. Go. Took him a little bit. It's not Sonic. It's not uh, whatever. So I feel good. I feel good. It wasn't like overtly obvious to him. So perfect. Excellent. I feel validated. <laughs> Amanda runs on Duncan. <laughs> what a dweeb. Okay. All right. I think that's it. That's a wrap. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This like totally was the best end to what was a really, really great day. And I love seeing everyone. Thank you for tuning in. And my cousin Kelly just launched an awesome Etsy shop. She's on the chat tonight. So, Kel, give it a shout out. Sweet art. I don't want to say it wrong. What is it? Oh, my God. She'll write it if she's still here. If not, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to link it in the description. Check it out. She makes really beautiful prints. Yeah, these are, like, not even close to Sonic colors. I don't even know what Sonic colors are, to be honest. I think it's like red and yellow and blue or something. Uh, you guys are the best. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So much for tuning in. This was really fun. Like, totally made my day. Bye. I'll see you guys all next week. Check me out on Insta. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And leave me a comment below letting me know what color you painted your nails tonight. All right. Good night, everybody. You're the best. I'll see you next time.